Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Young in Santa Barbara, California, and today I have a little piece of advice if you're a home buyer and you're buying a home in Santa Barbara, California. So if you're buying a home actually within the city limits of Santa Barbara, then I suggest that you go and check all the permits on file for this property. And now here's why. Uh, if this property is within the city limits of Santa Barbara, you're required at the time of sale to have a zoning inspection on the property, which means that if there's anything, any modifications to the property that require permits, the zoning inspector will come down to the property, inspect the property, and then go back to the city and check to make sure that everything has been permitted. Now, if, it, uh, if they find out that there are things that are unpermitted, they could open an enforcement case, which means that you will have a time period in which you'll need to go and down and get these permits. And if you don't do it, they start issuing citations that are very, very costly. So now here's why I'm suggesting that you go and do this anytime you're buying a property in the city of Santa Barbara. Um, we had a situation just recently where uh, my clients were selling their home and when they bought it four years ago, they um, had done all the property proper inspections. They, the sellers had had a zoning inspection. They got the zoning report, they looked over it, and everything said that it was legal. Um, we knew that there was a third bedroom that had been once a patio and it had been converted into a bedroom, but the zoning report said that it was legal. And we also knew that there was a half bath, and oh, and that bedroom looked like it had been done many, many years ago. Um, and then there was also a half bath that was just added um, like in the 12 months before they bought the house. And we had been given a copy of that permit. Um, so we knew that it was done with permits. And according to the zoning inspection, everything was legal. So we thought, great, they've done everything they need to do. Um, they bought the house and now here we are four years later, almost five years later. And um, we again had the zoning inspection. We thought it should be no problem since they hadn't made any changes to the house since they bought it. And um, the zoning officer came out and inspected and she called us and said, um, there's no permit on file for that third bedroom. So even though the prior inspection report said that it was legal, she's now calling it illegal. And in fact, there were several reports before that, zoning inspections before that, one in 2004, and one in 1999 and one even before that, that and they all said that this third bedroom was legal. So um, this created an enforcement case and it could have been a huge problem in this deal. Um, fortunately, it, it wasn't a problem. The buyer decided they wanted to go ahead and buy it anyway, knowing that there was this enforcement case pending. We were able to work out a credit. We were actually able to get the title insurance policy to cover the cost of getting these permits. but. Uh, if you're a buyer, um, I'd suggest you go back and pull all the permits on this property. And you know, you may think that, oh, well, this is common sense. Of course, I'm going to check the permits. But the thing is, you know, even if the zoning report says that it's all legal, you should do your due diligence and you know, check for the permits anyway, because you don't want to get stuck in this position where you know it looked like it was all legal, and then you buy the property and you find out several years later that. Um, it was a mistake and that's what they actually told us that it was a mistake so um, fortunately in this case everything is going to work out fine but that's my suggestion for the day is make sure you check all of the permits on the property uh, if you have questions or comments about anything I've said today please email me at stephanie at santabarbarealestateguide.com and have a great day